Ladies and gentlemen, as you already know, my name is Junjun, this is Junjun Ice Games, and this is the Pokemon Red Randomizer Metronome Lock. On the last episode, if you watched it, you'll know it was an absolute shit show, and I don't want to talk about it anymore, so let's go! Just kidding, we can do a quick team recap. In the last episode, we lost two, two of our three Pokemon. One of them was War Turtle, immediately after it evolved, the very next battle. And the second one was Kidnapper. Kidnapper got into a, an absolutely, if you didn't watch it, just go back and watch it. Kidnapper, at the very end of the episode, got into a terrible, terrible, terrible position where he got stuck in rage, so I could not heal him, and the opponent used Double Team twice. Nothing I could do but just sit back and watch him pretty much fade away. So anyway, that leaves us with just C Sharp. Now, in the last episode, I'm going to remind everyone of this. If, in case you did not watch the last episode, at the very beginning I made a disclaimer, there needs to be a role change. If you watched the last episode, you'll definitely know why, too. From now on, if my Pokemon uses self-destruct or explosion, it will only be dead for the remainder of the episode, and it can return at the beginning of the next episode, because, as we have found out, explosion and self-destruct is far, 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 far too common. We see them every single episode. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, and if I l allow it to kill me that way, I'm not gonna be able to finish the LP. I'm not. I would have been done already. It would have been done pre prior to this episode. So we have to do this. As much as I don't want to do this role, we have to. So right now, our only team member is C Sharp, the Porygon. His balanced stats with his shit speed and his metronome. And so at the beginning of the episode, I did a very, very quick granny montage. Um. For two reasons. Number one, I wanted to catch him up to where Kidnapper was, so he's powerful enough to actually take out any threats, because so I don't want to be stuck in another bad situation. Number two, um, being at level 18, I only want to get to at least 20 before I take on Misty. This way, I can avoid the random encounters now. I don't have to worry about doing random encounters anymore. I just can face the trainers. Less opportunities for C Sharp to go down. Considering he's the only member of my party now, I can't really afford to let him go down. Um. You, you guys did see I died on this trainer in the last episode. I had to kind of just finish him off like, since, since I couldn't run from it. So, um, yeah. So here we are. There's another TM, which is once again Metronome. And you know what? Since we're trying to avoid the random encounters, let's go and use that Max Repel we got. The Max Repel. Because I'm a little frustrated. I'm a little frustrated that my team has ended up this way now. I felt so good. I felt so good going into the last episode where I had C-Sharp, Squad, Goals, and Kidnapper. All decent levels. Now here we are with just C-Sharp. so frustrating. And the bad news is, since he's the only Pokemon that he finished that battle quick, though. Oh, never mind, there's one more. But, um, since C-Sharp is the only one in my team now, the bad thing is, if he uses Self-Destruct or Explosion, I have to end, I have to end the episode. Like, if he uses Self-Destruct right now, he didn't make quick work. If he uses self-destruct now, at the end of the episode, we're gonna have like a three or four minute long episode. This is how it's gonna have to be. Unfortunately, that's how it has to be. Um, this is normally a moonstone in the game. It's gonna be randomized to a moonstone, apparently. All right, sweet randomization. So you're just a kid. You're just a fat old man. I'm actually a grown man, sir. Thank you very much. I'm not a kid. Another kid. We are hitting one hit KOs left and right, but the moment one hits me, I won't be very happy. No, not at all. So, um, now that I'm down to one member of my team, I need to start thinking ahead to what I'm going to do if worst comes worst and uh, this member goes down. If I black out now, if C Sharp goes down, legitimately dies, I'm gonna have to decide what to do at that point because. What I did at the beginning of the LP was you keep that member in your party until you catch a new one that you can use, which is probably going to have to be what I have to, what I do. I don't see any way around it. That's probably going to have to be what I do. I'm probably just going to have to keep going. No, rage again. Don't double team. But anyway, yeah, I'm probably just going to have to keep on going with C Sharp until I catch another Pokemon if he goes down, which sucks. It's not very legitimate for a Nuzlocke, but if I don't have a choice, I don't have a choice. This Rage is going to hit pretty hard in this Abra, actually. It might take it out. So Rage is all looking quite as bad as it did last episode, huh? 
Rather than go the whole way back to the Pokemon Center and use the Repel I just used, well, wasted, I'm going to use a potion. But first, let's move the potions up here so I can get to them nice and quick. No, that's not what I meant to do. My bad, my bad, my bad. Wrong button. There we go. Use this potion. Let's just do that instead of going back to the Pokemon Center. It's around 20 HP anyway, so I'll take it. Um, hopefully going to get through Mount Moon in this episode, unless something extremely bad happens. So, we'll see what kind of bad thing happens, because I'm sure it will! It's got the stupid Rocket Grunt! You need to leave the grown-ups alone, kid! This is how Team Rocket talks, right? Because they're all mobsters, and this is how you would stereotypically think a mobster talks, right? So this is how Team Rocket talks, I'm pretty sure... When I did my Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke, well, look at that paralysis and that stupid coughing. I could have still had a coughing, but he had to go and be a coughing and self-destruct. But anyway, when I did my Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke, I'm pretty sure this is the exact voice I gave every single Team Rocket member. So this is probably the same exact voice I'm going to give every single Team Rocket member in this one too. Because there's going to be a lot of Team Rocket members in this game. The C Shop grew to level 19, and now I feel like I just have to talk in this voice forever. No, I'm steamed. That sucks for you, Fisher. Fisher Rocket. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I promise. For now. I'm done until I run into another Team Rocket member, which will probably be pretty soon here. So I, I feel like there's a, is there at least one more? There might be one more, I'm not sure. I just say, it feels so nice to walk through here right now and not run into encounters. There's one right here. I knew there was. I knew that. Well, I missed that battle up there. I thought there was nothing up there. Looks like there actually is a battle up there. I thought it was empty. Make this easy, C sharp. C sharp, please. I keep saying C sharp. Please just make this simple. Dig. Dig. It won't take him. I don't think it will take him out, but it'll do a good bit. It will take it out, because it's just a Rattata. Who cares about Rattata? I guess uh, you could say his Rattata wasn't in the top percentage of Rattata! This might hurt a little? No experience. We're going for a fly. Thankfully, flying type is neutral to flying type and not, not very effective, so that will still do decent damage. And he's thrashing about with his stupid pedal dance. And a switch will take him out. So now we can use a potion and move on. Do I bother going back for that encounter It's back there that I missed? I kind of feel like I should... See, I thought there was nothing up... No, no, nope, that's a different spot, never mind. I thought that was the area I came out at. That's actually a completely different area altogether. Hey, stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine! Not anymore, they're not. Actually, they might be, because you're probably going to end up killing my fucking Porygon anyway, so whatever. The Meowth Sprite actually looks really good in this game compared to all the other damn sprites in it. I'm glad that missed! I'm glad that missed. It wouldn't have KO'd, it would have done a lot. This should take it out, which, uh, if you don't know, in Gen 1, whenever Hyper Beam kills a Pokemon, you don't have to take a turn to recharge. So I don't have to recharge! I get to go right again! The Hyper Beam. Karate Chop will probably take it out if it's a crit. It might not be a crit because my, my speed is slow. Yep, my speed's too low for a crit. That's what I figured. Now my speed's even lower. Focus energy doesn't work in Gen 1, so that's no problem for me. You go ahead and do whatever you want with your stupid focus energy. That will take it out. Yeah, one more. Uh, can I just tell you, Hitmonchan's my top five favorite Pokemon. It's a fucking Pokemon with boxing gloves. It's just, co it's so cool. I love Hitmonchan. I love Hitmonchan so much. What's it going for? Skull Bash. I'm not too worried about Skull Bash from level 12. Especially after a sub. That might not even break the sub, I don't think. I don't think this is going to break the sub. It did not break the sub. We're good. Sonic Boom! May as well name my C-Sharp Guile. That might break the sub now. With a crit. No, it did not break the sub still. And we're going to bide. How does bide work whenever you're in... Good thing for sub. Good thing for the substitution. Now it's definitely gonna break. I'm still stuck in bite. I probably should have healed. 
Let's go ahead and use a potion. I think now's a good time for a potion. Okay, now the bide should... With the gust? I, um, I don't know if the hyper beam counted towards bide since I was in sub, but with the gust and the thundershock, maybe it's enough? It is. Okay. I don't know if the, if the hyper beam counted for that or not, but um, it's okay. So C sharp hit level 20, which is the level we want to hit before we take on Misty. So C sharp is good. Now if we can catch a Pokemon outside of Mount Moon, we'll be good to go. The only problem is C sharp is a very high level. So it's going to be very difficult to catch a Pokemon because I can't control how much damage I do to it because do it, all I have is fucking Metronome. Um, I usually go Dome Fossil, so that's what I'm going to go for. We're going to go for Dome Fossil. However, it is randomized. So that's going to be a guaranteed Pokemon later on. It won't be a Kabuto. Very, it, might, it could be Kabuto, but it probably won't be a Kabuto. I am over this fucking tunnel. I am so over it. I'm. I. You have no idea. I am like super white girl done. Just so done. Hundred ten percent. I just want to get my item up here, which I'm pretty sure is a TM, which is just gonna be Metronome anyway. So it doesn't even matter. It's TM for Metronome. Congratulations, John John. Congratulations on your Metronome. I'm sure you're not sick of that attack yet! Before I go do my next encounter, let's go heal. And hope to God, whatever is there stays in the damn Pokeball that I throw at it. Well, let's hope C-Sharp doesn't end its damn life. Should I buy another Pokeball? Why not? Another Pokeball or two won't hurt. I've got some money. I've got a decent bit of money. Let's get these Pokeballs. I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna need them pretty damn bad. So C Sharp is at a good level. The only problem is he's at a high level uh, for the Pokemon that are over here. So, if he hits a powerful attack with Metronome, like Thunder or Ice Beam or Fire Blast or something, guess what? That's no capture for me. Whatever I catch is just gonna drop. Whatever I encounter is just gonna drop, sorry. Um, just for, you know, the giggles. Just for the lols, we're gonna save anyway, doesn't actually matter, doesn't make a difference, whatever. Now let's hope for a good encounter. What have we got? I'm gonna see if I know the cry. I have no- is that Meowth? Horsey. It's a surfer. It's not a very strong surfer. This might do too much. Stop a two, please stop a two, please stop, 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 stop. No! <laughs> it's a- it's just Fury Swipes! Even Fury Swipes is too damn powerful. This is gonna be really difficult to catch another Pokemon. Really difficult to catch another Pokemon. Unfortunately, my next encounter attempt won't be until after I take a lot of trainers, including our rival, including all of Nugget Bridge. <sighs> yeah, there's nowhere else I can get an encounter. So C Sharp's all alone here. So we need to somehow. Well, we need to get through all seven of these trainers here. Which we'll get C-Sharp to probably like level 22 or 23. Then we need to hope we don't kill whatever level 10 Pokemon's in the grass. It's, you just saw us this, demolish, demolish a level 10 horse with Fury Swipes, which is not that strong of an attack. This is bad news, this is bad news, this is bad news. Okay, let's at least take on the rival. Get that out of the way. Yo, John John, you're still struggling along back here. Wait, no, um, his, he's Flowey. What's the voice I gave Flowey? I gave, uh, I, I gave Flowey this voice. I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you got, John John. That's the voice I gave Flowey, uh, Flowey, 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 in my Undertale playthrough. So that's the voice we're gonna give Flowey here. It's getting dark in here. That looks a lot nicer. I mean, my face is bright. Well, at least you can see my room now. All my fancy, my fancy video game memorabilia behind me. This battle is gonna be probably very difficult. Aurora Beam is a good start, though. It didn't take it out. I thought for sure that would take it out. Leech Sheet is not good. That's a very bad start now. Flamethrower would have been nicer than Aurora Beam. That definitely would have taken it out. Coughing. Oh, he stole my freaking coughing. He kidnapped my coughing. I really hope that C Sharp can survive this uh, battle. Really hope he can survive this battle. Of course, I missed. 
course he sells Leech Seed, and of course he gets Roar Beam. I need to stay healed. Special going up is good. He does damage here, I need to heal. I have five potions. I keep believe he has that damn Leech Seed, that's so annoying. Not a one hit KO. Flex him. Flex on C sharp. Flex on him. One hit KOs for days. That's right, brother. Fissures everywhere. I, I would take another roar beam. Okay, that's not gonna do too much because it's a level 15 Pidgey. It did more than I thought. I don't like that. Mimic will mimic metronome. Oh boy. So he's stuck in Thrash, and I'm getting uh, leech seated version doesn't help! I need you to ball out on this Pidgey right now, C-Sharp. I need you to absolutely wreck this thing's life right now. I'm gonna have to heal again because of Thrash. Oh my god, this is bad, 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 bad! <sighs> Thankfully it hurt itself. That did a decent bit of damage, actually. Hurt yourself again, please, 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 please. No, 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 no. I'm stuck in Fire Spin, are you serious? I have two potions left. C Sharp might not survive this. He still has a starter. Let's confuse that one. Great. And it gets a Swords Dance. Which is a terrifying attack for my opponent to get. That doesn't even affect it. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. 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 He still has a starter left, which means he probably still has his most powerful Pokemon left. Wait, no, who was the starter again? Who was the level 20 he used at the beginning? Maybe that was his starter. Okay, the problem here is, we've been sand attacked. And I have no one to switch to, which means I'm stuck with that low accuracy. And I just got hit four times with that, that didn't feel very good. Something weak R box, the starter. Level 17, so he's actually not his most powerful Pokemon. Not the highest leveled, at least. But, uh, could still be pretty dangerous. Especially because I'm out of potions, and I'm getting Leech Seated. I need an Earthquake. I need an Earthquake. I need an Earthquake. I need an Earthquake, C-Sharp. Seriously. I'm not kidding. Don't repeat its agility. I can't heal anymore. Dug a hole. I can't... Earthquake. 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 Bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Defense curl. I'm still getting leech seated though. You need to hit an earthquake. You need to hit an earthquake right now, C sharp. I'm not even kidding with you right now. You need to hit an earthquake if you're paralyzed. Earthquake, please, please, please make a punch missed! Really bad. Earthquake, please, earthquake, please, earthquake. Please don't hit me for damage. Fairy swipes. Stop, 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 stop. Earthquake, please, earthquake, please, earthquake. Don't hit me for damage. Okay, Razor Wind, hit, crit. Nope, we died. This is not a fun LP. This is a really, really not fun LP. Like a really, really, really not fun LP. So, um. Okay, the only thing I can do is, um, here's what we're gonna do. So, I have to think this out now, because here's the issue. I can't get to the next route without facing at least 
at least six more trainers at the minimum. Six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take C sharp. Uh, I'm just going to do it now. I'm just going to do it now. Um, we're going to take C sharp over here. And we're going to catch something. I don't have a, I, I don't, I literally don't have a choice. Like, I'm sorry, I literally don't have a choice. This breaks Nuzlocke rules so much, but if, if it's at the point where I don't have an option, I, I have to do it. I have to catch a Pokemon right, right now. Even if I fail, I go for another encounter. It's a horsey, so be it. If I catch it, great. If I kill it, catch something else. I'm gonna kill it just like the last one. Same way as the last one. Whatever I catch first is my Pokemon. Whatever I catch first is my Pokemon. Okay. If I can catch this, it's my Pokemon then. I'm not gonna catch it, because I don't think a Nidoqueen's gonna go in a Pokeball at almost half HP. If I catch it, it's what I got. I'm just gonna have to grind it. Up to 20, at least. Probably higher, because it's gonna be my only Pokemon on my team. Yay! Now I have one level 10. So... Here's the other issue I face, and uh, I'm going to have to do a grinding montage, clearly, clearly going to have to do a grinding montage. I don't, there's, there's no way around that, it's level 10, I'm going to have to face Misty, who has a level 21 ace soon, so, this Nido Queen is getting to at least level 23 before taking on Misty, period. That's high, I know, it's higher than the ace, but I don't have a choice, I don't because it's the only Pokemon on my team. So it's getting to at least level 23 before Misty. Here's the issue. It's going to need to do a grinding montage to gain 13 levels or maybe like 10 because I can do like the Nugget Bridge too. To gain that many levels in the grinding montage, self-destruct or explosion is guaranteed. I'm telling you, guaranteed in that many attempts. So what I'm going to do is in the grinding montage in the next episode. If this Nita Queen self-destructs or explodes, I'm going to revive and continue the grinding montage because there's no point in watching a minute of a grinding montage, then ending the episode and starting a whole brand new episode because that's what's gonna happen. As you know, the new rule is if a Pokemon self-destructs on my team, if a Pokemon on my team self-destructs, you end the episode, you, know, you don't end the episode. They're unusable for the remainder of the episode. They come back in the next one. There is no point in me ending an episode after one minute if it self-destructs. I, I mean, I'll do it outside of a grinding montage, because it'll be funny. But in a grinding montage, no. If it self-destructs, at least in this next one. Let me be clear here. If, in a normal scenario, where I have more than one Pokemon on the team, if a Pokemon self-destructs in the grinding montage, that's fine. The rule will still follow, unusable for the remainder of the grinding montage and the remainder of the episode. However, this is the only Pokemon on my team. If the only Pokemon in my team self-destructs in a grinding montage, I'm just gonna continue. I'm just gonna revive and continue because there's no point it's gonna be revived. Anyway, you get the point. I'm rambling like never before right now. You understand, right? But its hard scales provide strong protection. It uses its hefty bulk to execute powerful moves. So, um, as you all know, as you all know, Pokemon Red and Blue were just released for the 3DS. And I'm trying to complete the Pokedex. So I caught a Nidoran male and a Nidoran female, and I named them Titan and Lady Titan. So this is going to be Lady Titan. Welcome, Lady Titan, the only member of my team. Because C-Sharp is now gone. The good thing is, we have a powerful Pokemon. Nidoqueen is power. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, I'm already in box 20. So goodbye, C-Sharp. It was fun. I enjoyed having you around. You were a great Pokemon to the very end. May you rest in peace. R.I.P. in peace. C Sharp. Lady Titan, it's just me and you. So let's do a couple of uh, cleanup things here to end the episode before we move on. Um, let's see if the. I'm sure the item here is stuck me randomized. If it was a rare candy, I wouldn't be mad because it would still be good for Lady Titan's PP up. I mean, I guess I could use it on Metronome. Sure, I guess I can use PP up on Metronome, why not? Why not? 
That's all I have. May as well raise the PP. Um, well, something I can do right now is sell all these TMs and worthless items I don't need and buy all those potions I used for no reason. So sell this. Like I said, all TMs are um, all TMs are metronomes, so I don't need them. I have no need for them at all. Uh, not gonna use that. Don't care about that. Mm, I'll keep the iron, I guess. Well, it'll probably sell for a lot, won't it? I bet the iron will sell for a lot. Yeah, I'm selling that. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're, yeah, we're gonna sell that. Two thousand for that one. My God, that one's more. Um, let's keep the Moonstone in case I ever need it. You never know. Um, let's buy Pokeballs, because those are important. And Potions, because those are probably even more important. Let's get a good bit of them. Uh, 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 let's get more than that. Let's get a lot more than that. Let's get five. And let's go ahead and get like, two Antidotes, because I used a couple of them. Burn, Heal, does not hurt. Um, uh, Awakening, okay. And at least one Paralyze Heal. Let's check my medicine, make sure I'm good before I move on. We have 16 Pokeballs, 4 Antidotes, 2 Full Heals, 3 Paralyzed Heals, 2 Awakenings, a Nice Heal, 16 Potions, and 1 Burn Heal. Um, I might want another Burn Heal, because 1 doesn't seem like quite enough. Because, uh, yeah, Burn's not good in, uh, in, a, in a Nuzlocke. It's not good. It's really not good at all. I don't think there's anything else I can do right now. Um... Besides for grind and take on the old Flowey. So I think this is going to have to be the moment we end the episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this once again terrible shit show of an episode. If you made it the whole way through, if you enjoyed this episode, please click that thumbs up like button down below because it helps me out tremendously and I greatly appreciate it because likes go a long way on YouTube. You know the spiel. Thank you very much for watching. Join me next time where we have to grind this level 10 Lady Titan to a monster. Have a beautiful